Oh. Ready player one. Man, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. phone going, we got the game going up here, got my chat going on the phone. All right. <sighs> Love that it has the original, the original Tempest 2000 music. All right, let's start. Oh, man. The original Tempest 2000 music. Oh, I love that. And it's not the... It's not the CD music either, it's the actual uh, it's the actual mod files from the Tempest 2000 game on the Jaguar, which I keep close by at all times. I always keep my boxed copy of Tempest 2000 for the Jaguar right here, so, man. All right, I've been waiting for this for a long time, so I'm just gonna start playing. No, with Dad, what's up, man? You need to play this game on your green screen. I'm playing on the super, super easy level, so. I'm not even sure what the controls are yet. You're gonna wear an Atari shirt right now? Yeah. I'm wearing my uh, Flynn's Arcade shirt. Jump. Oh, that's the wrong button. Jump. Okay. Jump has got to be... Okay, jump is the trigger. Have you ever played uh, Tempest 2000 before? This just came out today. This is look like here, but the screen is down here. This just came out today. This is Tempest 4000 for the uh, play, PlayStation 4. Um, it's actually very similar to the Vita game TXK, also programmed by Jeff Minter. In fact, he's done all of the Tempest games. In fact, I've got... I've got the reason why this is... <laughs> it's funny, that, that you may wonder why it's called Tempest 4000. What happened to Tempest 3000? Well, I'll show you in a second. Okay, yeah. Tempest 3000 is right here. Oh, it's right here. It's for the new one. They didn't, uh, they didn't sell very well, but I do have one. So I have Tempest 2000, Tempest 3000, TXK, and now Tempest 4000. This is probably, I think this has got to be my all-time favorite game, the Tempest series. I mean, it's just, it is psychedelic, but thank God they have the, the original Tempest 2000 music. I think so. I think this would be a good VR game. I do have jump. Okay, 
jump is essential. You have to have the jump. Because now I'm kind of trapped over here. The only way to kill these guys is to jump up above them and just start shooting them. It seems to be... There's the AI droid. Oh, the AI droid reminds me of the one from Tempest 2000. A little bit different from the Tempest 3. Tempest, uh, TXK. See, I keep confused too. I wonder if Ari sued uh, Jeff. I like this background. This looks like I'm going through the cave. Shoot stems. Okay, yeah, I know that. Just it. like the original Tempest game, the spikers will come up. Yeah, on it. The spikers will come up and start leaving spikes down the uh, channels. So you want to make sure that you don't crack them on the jump yet. You want to make sure that you don't uh, get sucked down the tube onto a spike. TXK usually lines you up a little bit better. Circuit. <laughs> it's funny, this is called Circus Atari. I haven't, I haven't been looking at the names of the boards. I like the, like the watery floor effects. Trophies, volume and language. Alright, let's go back. Let's go up a little bit more. Yeah, this is my Atari Times channel. And, um, a little Wait. secret I've, I've got another channel that I'm gonna uh, release to the world here soon, another video game channel. Because. I don't want to be pigeonholed into just doing Atari stuff, so I've got another channel that I've created. I don't have any content on it yet, so I'm kind of waiting to have some content before I release it to the world. VR gaming channel, yeah, that would be cool. I like your setup, man, it's pretty cool. Although I, I really do feel like I've created a monster with a great screen. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about painting my wall too. But, um, you know, honestly, you don't even need green. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even really need green uh, to do the chroma removal. Yeah, if you can blame me. Um, so I tried using like the regular blue that's back here for mine a couple times, and it just doesn't work as well. I don't know if it's because there's texture on the walls, but um, it doesn't work as good as the actual 
color green is probably smooth, uh, smooth background. You have that texture, it just kind of makes it difficult. Yeah. I saw that was you used paint on the walls, but I think what I'm trying to get at is I don't think that would even work on mine because I've got these textured walls, and I think it would still leave behind some remnants. And you have to. I have a hard enough time getting all the all the green out in some of my videos. Um, and that's a smooth, that's a smooth uh, background that I have. So having a textured wall, I don't think it's gonna work. But not for me. It'll work for you because you probably have smooth walls. Yeah, I know, lighting, exactly. Yeah, I definitely need to get some good lights. Right now all I have is these crappy ceiling lights. What in the world is this? It looks like, uh... It looks like the box is from Hellraiser. Yes. Well, I don't know how many... I'm not sure how many triangles I have to do to get the actual warp. Okay, now new music. Yes, second uh, set of music. One of the most amazing things about Tempest 2000 on the Jaguar was this music. Oh, now this, actually this is from the CD, this is not from the game. Which I do have the CD as well. If you listen carefully, on the jump, the jump is uh, the pitfall jump sound effect. Alright, see you, man. Oh, Alma! Hey! I was wondering if any of the vlogger crew peeps would show up. Other than Nola Dad, which I expect Nola Dad to show up because he's a gamer. This game is pretty crazy. But I have to say it's probably... Maybe... The Tempest series is, is maybe my favorite game of all time. Yeah, go mine them. <laughs> I'm not out. I'm not outside uh, breathing the fresh air right now, so it's not as interesting, I guess. But in the world, man, it's getting really, really tricky right now. I cannot get the handle on this. And you seem like to hear more. Yeah, honestly, I don't care how many people are in this stream or watching, I just wanted to play this. So bad. I've been wanting to play Tempest 4000 so bad. For so long. I mean, I do have TXK, but it's kind of a hassle to. Come on. It's kind of, ha kind of a hassle to. Switch over to the. Oh no! Here no, 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 no. it is. 
I switch over to the PST dude. Oh, oh, game over. We are nerdcore. <laughs> oh, I do care, Chris? No, I don't. I was gonna play this. I would be sitting here playing this completely by myself, which I am, and nobody watching. And it doesn't really matter to me. It's just, hey, I'm playing this. If y'all want to watch, cool. But I guess I could use this as a slight promotion. Um, I created another channel. I know. We need more uh, YouTube channels out there. There's just not enough. Um, but this is on my Atari Times channel. I created another channel, which I'll let you all know about when I'm ready. I don't have any content on it yet, but it's going to be more of a general video game channel where it's not just Atari stuff. I mean, this channel is Atari Times, so it has to be just Atari stuff, I feel like. Thank you, cows. Okay. So I think that the, the other channel is just going to be general video games. It'll be, you know, Atari, Sega, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, just any kind of gaming versus just having Atari stuff, which is on this channel. And I wish I was ready to release it, but I need I need, I need to create some content on it. I need, need to create, like, the trailer, and I need to create at least three game reviews. So tell me, okay, now that I got you here, tell me what three, yeah, another channel. Tell me what three video game reviews should I do for my next, my other channel? It's called, uh, well, I don't know if I want to get the name up yet. Should be pretty easy to figure out what the name is based on where I'm sitting at right now. What three video games should I cover on my new channel? First, the first three. Yeah, I have, I have three. I actually have four channels. One of them is just the Gregory George channel, which I don't do anything with. Then I have Adventures by George. Uh, then I have the Atari Times. And now I have this new channel, so technically I have four channels. Three games. Okay, I was thinking... Rampage World Tour, Super Mario 3, and Bomberman 64. Those are good games. Um, I could do Super Mario 3, definitely. Because I have, um, I don't have, I actually don't have a Super Mario, I actually don't have Super Mario Brothers 3. I have a flash cartridge with it, though. Um, I don't have a Nintendo 64, so I can't do Rampage or Bomberman 64. I need to get a, I need to get a Nintendo 64. But I was thinking, I was thinking one Atari game, one Sega game, and one original NES game. Mortal Kombat on the game. I don't have that one either. I do have Mortal Kombat. I, I, maybe that's what I should do. I was trying to think of a good Sega game that's not Sonic. Call 6507-2600 for a good time. Okay, what does that mean? You see that on the screen there? It says call 6507-2600 for a good time. I think I know what that means. Anybody have any idea? That's that's awesome. These little, uh, little Easter eggs here in the game. Streets of Rage 2, yes! That's it, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna do Streets of Rage 2 for the Genesis. Um, 6507, that is the processor inside the Atari 2600, and then the dash 2600 means, you know, the Atari 2600, so. Why can't I get past this level? Oh, here we go. I want to switch to the next. Here we go. Let me get up. Okay, I'm stuck here. Or I got my birds walking out. Yes, definitely. Streets of Rage 2. I was thinking for the Atari 2600, I would do Space Invaders. Since that's kind of like the big game that really got Atari going. 
back in the day. Some of space invaders. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. They say that's a really good one. I never really got into it too much. I beat the original Sonic game. Oh, come on! I have to pause this here for a second and let my wife know that I'm in here uh, hanging out with you guys. Oh, 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 what the heck, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go flesh up my bird for a second. Just by with the tilt controls. Huh. Alright, let me get back in. Gotta get serious here, gotta get serious. Watch out for the spikes. Get a handle on this little tube thing here. Oh, there's some little Now, those are new, those little flower guys that explode and those petals fly off into the. Into the um, right, here we go. Those are new. Makes it. As if it wasn't hard enough to see what's going on. Uh, those, Flower guys make it even harder. Jackie! I'm just playing my game, my favorite game of all time. Tempest I need a shirt. I really need a shirt. Tempest on it. Right now all I have is my Flynn's arcade shirt, which well, you may have recognized this shirt before. <laughs> If you watch another popular vlogger of ours, you may recognize the shirt. Greg, if you know to make Atari game, how to make Atari games, or you're an Atari game based off of the vlog. You know what? That's a good uh, idea, Chris. But I actually have an idea. Oh no! I hit a spike! Oh no, I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever done that before. Um, computers for people. <laughs> you gotta read the little comments down below there. <laughs> computers for What is that for, from? That's gotta be a that's gotta be like a slogan from from like Commodore or something like that back in the day. That's gotta be Polybius! What's up, Sean? Um yeah, this is not Polybius. No, this is much better. Much better. Um, Chris, back to your idea about a video game about vlogs. There is a piece of software that's being developed right now called Nestmaker. N-E-S M-A-K-E-R. Nestmaker for Nintendo Entertainment System Maker. Google that. Google Nestmaker. And I saw that and I thought, man, I really need to make a game about, a video game about vlogging, about how to vlog, and what would it entail? And I'm kind of thinking it would be like an open world kind of game, 
where you can just go and travel wherever. And after you get there, after you get there, say whatever your destination is, whether it be you know a theme park or a zoo or an abandoned location or anywhere, it would turn into a side-scrolling game. At which point you would have your camera and you would have to. Game over. Tacos. All right, tacos, man. Um. So yeah, yeah. You you. It turned into a side-scrolling game, in which you would have to you know jump around and take pictures of stuff. And the more pictures you take, the longer your video would be, the more subscribers you get and all that stuff. So there'd be a whole. Subscribers would be like the, or maybe watch time, would be like the currency in that game. And I thought it would be cool you could select, uh, you could select different characters or make your own character. You know, you could, you could select from a certain, a certain vlogger that we all watch. And like travel in a van, and maybe you could upgrade to an RV. <laughs> or you could just have a car and just live, you know, film out of your apartment or your house or something. could have some other uh, vloggers that we all know and love in there. Or you could just create your own. But yeah, it's called Nest Maker, NES Maker. And uh, it's supposed to be coming out very soon. Once that comes out, game over already? Man, this is a lot harder than the last uh, time this game. Miracle, Miracle on Boreagus. Okay, I guess it's like Miracle on 34th Street, but Boreagus is the street that Atari corporate headquarters was located. And it's funny because one day it's in San Francisco. Uh, you're making cooker taters. <laughs> um, one day I want to travel out to San Francisco and find all of the. Uh, Atari buildings, the, the corporate headquarters, the research and development, the marketing building. I mean, Atari back in the day, they owned that city. They owned uh, Sunnyvale. So they had like 20 buildings. And uh, one day I'm going to vlog the, all those buildings, every building that Atari was in, uh, owned back in the day. Of course, they don't own any of them now, but. Alright, let's get serious. I'm just gonna wait till they grab me and then I'll then I'll get the uh super zapper. Where's my power up? Taters. I didn't realize that uh, Michael Jordan's thing now was taters. I guess taters is a bad thing. Oh, look everybody, we got taters. Taters are bad. What? What the heck? Ah, jeez. Ready Player One. Gee, I wonder if that's uh, has anything to do with this. Could have something to do with this. Could have something to do with the book. Or the movie, which... I don't have the movie yet. You don't understand this game. Okay, well let me let me go back to the very beginning. I'll start at the very, very easy level. Actually, I won't go back super, super far back. Okay, look. Hunt the score. Let's go to level... We'll just go to this level. Stella takes a trip. Okay. This claw on the top of the web, that's me. And I'm just shooting these things that are coming up the tube, trying to avoid being attacked by these. It will suck you down the tube. In this case, well, it's actually called a web. I'm just, I'm on a flat web right now. So all I'm doing is going back and forth and I'm just shooting these guys. Now I get these little power-ups, this thing that comes right up the web right there. 
and it will increase the the laser power, and it'll allow me to jump if I get enough of them. Shoot the things, yeah, shoot all the things. That's, oh, okay. Oh, I got a steer. Oh, that's why I can't figure this out. I don't know how to steer, I'm a terrible driver. So now I'm just doing the same thing, I'm just shooting these, uh, these are called flippers. Coming up the web, trying to, trying to kill me, trying to grab me. And I want to collect that power up. Now I got a powerful laser. Now I have better shots. This is a total arcade game. In fact, look at this, I can still kill Tempest was originally an arcade game by um, Atari programmer Dave Thur. Thur? I use a smart bomb to just kill it. Jump by pressing R2. Now, you don't want to be on the web because the clippers will grab you. All I'm doing is going back and forth and just going through And grabbing these power-ups, the little plus. Now I have the AI droid, now it'll go around and just shoot everything for me. I don't even really have to do anything. It's kind of slow though, so I might have to I still have to do something. And now I defeated that level, so now I'm going through the web into the next one. Steering things drop me nuts. I don't like that. I think I need to see if I can change that. I like the background of this level. It looks like I'm going through a cave. No worries, Jackie, no worries. I know this is probably not everybody's favorite cup of tea, so that's why I put it on my Atari Times channel. Hey, how did I get past that? But I've been dying for this game to come out for probably two years now. So nothing's going to stop me from playing it right now. I thought, what the heck, I'll go ahead and put it on my Atari Times channel. In case anybody, wanna, in case anybody else wants to watch me play it. Be back in a few. <laughs> You going to church, Jackie? Finished it. It's. I think it's actually. I think it's sitting at my old house. Go up to the next level. I'm trying to get. I think there's a hundred levels in this game. So, in my mind, besides getting a high score, the goal is to see every level and hear every song. So we got to get back into that. It's a little bit different than the I'm 
So are you excited about moving moving to Seattle, right? It's gonna be awesome. Free coffee all the time, right? Seattle? That's what they tell me. No, 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 no. Gotta jump. Always and forever. Is that just like Atari Forever? Start below level four for tutorial labels. Direction buttons and more last button starts. Classic mode. Is there other modes besides the classic mode? Ladies and gentlemen. Enter a Comments are very delayed. So playing this on the PS4. Video computer system. Alright, I gotta drop down a level. CX40, okay, that's the Atari joystick. Circus Atari. I, I need to go through these different levels. Let me get the right level. Computer Space, that's the very first um, game by Nutting Associates that um, Bushnell came out with. Let's go next one. Okay. I've got to figure out how to do the controls. 6507 Revelation, of course, 6507 is the processor in the Atari 2600. Stella takes a trip. Stella is the code name for the Atari 2600. Basic programming is uh, the language. You know, pretty much anybody can program stuff with. It was very, very limited uh, language that they came out with for the 2600 and the 8-bit computers. CX40, that's the joystick uh, model number. Circus Atari is a Atari video game. Video Olympics is another Atari uh, video game. Both of those, Circus Atari and Video Olympics, are both using paddle controllers. I don't know if there's something to that. Video Olympics is basically Pong. Syzygy is the name of the original video game company that Bushnell came up with. And it sounded terrible, so they switched to Atari. Hunt and score. Uh, that's that's another Atari game, I think. I forget what the ultimate name of that is. What else? Monster size. Doesn't sound familiar. TIA. That's the the graphics chip in the Atari 2600. Here it is. Grass Valley. 
Begin with one leg. I need more than that. Okay, I gotta switch down. I gotta get. I gotta go somewhere where I get three lives. All right, let's go. Really, I have to go all the way down to level four. my window cutting the grass is uh, ruining my whole, my whole trip here. Yeah, 
This game is, uh, it's all blowing stuff up. That's all it is. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, save. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm out of practice. I haven't played, uh, TXK or... Did I get to the next song? Oh, this is level 8. Okay, I've been on this one. Let me see if I can get another warp triangle so I can skip ahead. Focus. Focus. Yeah, the music is part of the game. This is actually the original music from Tempest 2000 for the Atari Jaguar. This particular track is. The next track, in the next set of levels, is um, from the Tempest 2000 soundtrack CD. Oh, good. I just get to the. Please tell me that the bonus level is not so. This track right here is actually from the CD, the Tempest 2000 CD. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Too techno for you? The origin of fun. The cool thing about this, I keep seeing these little text comments down below. The origin of fun. That's got to be in another Atari, Atari reference there. I see the Atari logo flipping around in the background. Yeah, you can't choose... I think you can choose different soundtracks. Get out of volume and language. I can choose. I've got a volume and language. I can bring up the music, or I can bring the bring up the sound, the sound effects. But there's no way to change the actual music tracks. At least I haven't figured out a way to do it yet. Oh, there we go. the triangle button and change the to that music track. Okay, that's the second level track. Oh, yes! Yes! It's the track from TXK. This is probably my favorite track from TXK. So let me keep playing it. Yes! <laughs> I only have one life with this. Yeah, you can turn the yeah, you can turn it down. But you know, part of the the appeal of the original Jaguar game was the music, because it was so unknown at the time that, that a perfect game could have music that fantastic, but yeah, I could Turn it all the way down. And I apologize, there's a probably about a minute delay on the um, Yeah, I can go down to nothing on the music. But it, you'll see it's just it doesn't feel the same without without the um, without the music. Actually, it feels a lot more like the original Tempest. Yeah. 
Oh, you had an Atari 400? I have a... My original Atari computer was a 400. Then I have an 800 XL. Uh, then an Atari ST. Then somebody gave me an Atari ST. Two lives. Three lives. Oh, why am I getting more lives for these levels? Hmm. Um, yeah, and I've got a 2600, 5200, 7800. Jaguar, Jaguar CD. keyboard. I don't think I've ever turned that on, though. But I learned how to program on my, my, my original 400 with the membrane keyboard, and it was hard to type on. I 
think it's because it's harder to see what the heck's going on. Alright, I gotta put the music back on. Options. Controls. There we go. Can I change the controls? R1 or R2 to jump. Well, I was hitting R1 and it wasn't jumping. Maybe it's my controller. Credits. Gee, I wonder who the credits are. It's all created by the Yak. Weddy. What the heck? E1. Nude. What does that mean? I'm sure it's like backwards or something. N G H. Um, what the heck? Oh, is it upside down maybe? I don't know. It's just yak for you. I get any trophies yet. Ultra Atari and get all trophies. Well, that'll be a while. Sure, halfway there. Complete level 1 through 33 without dying. Oh, that's got to be impossible. Completed ring bonus. Oh, they're all locked. So I haven't won anything. Oh, wait. Did I get, I get, I got the angel, angel bonus power up. Get rescued by the AI Droyo at a distance. Oh, they're just making stuff up now. Alright. Computers for people. Yes! What other music can I pick? Sounds like there's just four tracks. Thank you. 
consumable, I guess. to the names of these levels. TIA, I've said earlier, that's the graphics chip. Grass Valley, I don't know what that is. Atari Box. Really? <laughs> Level 13, Atari Box. I guess it's kind of a dig at Atari. Uh, the ear. I guess it's nothing Atari related, it's just the shape of the web looks like the ear, yeah. Cosmos. That was Atari's 3D handheld console. Atari, so that's that's just a combination between Atari and Taurus. Area 51, well, you know, that's the alien place. Antic, that's the graphics chip in the Atari 8-bit computers. And then Riot is, what is the Riot chip? I forget what it is. Is that the sound chip? I don't remember, I have to look that one up, but it's also a, it's also a chip in one of the Atari consoles. I gotta get to a fun scan, a couple of levels, a couple of lives. Oh, one life in all these. Alright, well, let me go to, uh, go to Area 51 then.
say that many times. sound effect. Well, that's not going to help me on this level. 
Sound chip. Heavy Sixer is the code name for the 2600. Excuse me. Jack Attack. That's got to be a reference to Jack Tremiel. Yeah, Jack Attack.
Atari uh, arcade game. Slapstick. What is the slapstick? Thank you. 
is one plus one? Space is everything. Space is everything.
it's a Tempest 4000 for the zero people who are watching right now. <laughs> it's like TXK with a bunch of different tracks, um, motion controls in between the webs, which I don't like. Uh, I still haven't seen the bonus levels. Um, probably the trippiest of all the Tempest games that I've ever played, and I've played them all, so definitely the trippiest. So, anyway. Done playing Tempest 2000 for Tempest 4000 for now, so I think I'm going to say goodbye for the zero people who are watching. Thank you, everybody who come. Thank you for everybody who didn't come by and watch this live stream.